Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to transform ourselves to a 1930s makeup look. Are you up for that? Then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so here we are, another month, another through the decade look. I'm super excited for 1930s. I tried to do my hair a little bit, you know, to just kind of look a little closer to what 1930s used to look like. 1930s is the time, is the era when makeup was finally accepted, finally accepted to be worn outside with with, without having any prejudice or anything like that. It was an amazing time for makeup. But one of the most important ones, in my opinion, um, three-step skincare was introduced in 1930s. And now is the time when you cleanse your face, you tone your face, and then you moisturize your face. So I'm gonna use a primer moisturizers for today's look i'm gonna go with this one from june and co moonshine miracle cream so i'm gonna add this one on my face and then i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the history of 1930s makeup unfortunately while there were so many beautiful things coming out for makeup and things like that and skincare a lot of horrible things were happening in 1930s uh the big depression was going on and a lot of people were losing their job there was it was really rough at the time um to live in that era and uh i don't know how they did it i i just i don't know how they did it i don't know how they still had fun with makeup I really don't know, really don't know. But foundation, one of the biggest inventions and in foundation was back in that era. There was this pancake foundation makeup that was such hyped up. It came out in 1937, if I'm, if I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, but it was one of those foundations which are very hard to use it was cream to powder foundation so it was a powder you mix it with some uh water and then with transforming your face it's kind of like a like a liquid kind of and then you had to take the excess out it was an interesting thing okay it was an interesting thing now even the skin colors are starting to be a little bit more accepted not very much but just a little bit more we get a little bit more acceptance for other skin uh, skin colors than uh ivory you know and uh which is exciting it's exciting we're finally getting a little bit of acceptance of different skin tones so i'm gonna go for foundation i'm gonna go and make up forever i have two different colors right here none of them is my color one is too dark one is too um light but i'm gonna put the light one in areas where i usually would go for concealer so i'm just gonna put the light one around my eye area um another thing that i would say there was grease paint was something something similar to foundation and it was used a little bit in the film industry but not by everyday woman pancake was the one that finally uh made people lose interest in the powder and just kind of start using a different type of foundation but it was very hard to figure it out how to use it and uh yeah max factor invented that one we have maybelline getting on the market and was getting really crazy on the market trying to sell their items um we get more and more companies get getting out there and transforming uh makeup but max factor was the person 
and was the biggest makeup artist at the time. All right, so I added that. Now I'm gonna go with the darker shade and just kind of go around these areas right here in the bottom half. So now is the time when the face that was desired the most was heart-shaped face. Uh, if in 1920s, the round face was the thing to go, uh, and 1910s was the oval, well, now we are looking for a heart-shaped face. And everything that we're going to apply on our face today, we're going to try to get to as close as possible to the heart shape face now the biggest problem that i have with this era is brows if back in 1920s we had that elongated which is very close to the 1920s but the problem is it is really high up and arch like this so i'm gonna try to do as much as i can today to make to just get as close as I can to that look, but I don't know. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with this um, Brow Contour Pro from Benefit, and I'm gonna take the definer and try to go over the hairs that I have. Just kind of make them disappear as much as I possibly can and then give that shape, you know, because they were thin, like baby. Oh, let me tell you, the the brows were so, whew, they were so thin. And to fill my brows or just kind of like give the shape, I'm going to go with this Revolution one um what is called brow pencil okay so this is as good as i can to make them look closer to a 1930s brow very thin ones so for blush, this is the problem <laughs> because now the desire face was the heart shape. The blush was put in a section like a triangle right here. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. I am going to go with a milk one. So I have this one from milk that is called work. And I'm going to go and do that right here, like that. Okay. And depends on how your face looks like, you could add a little bit uh, over here. Or you can add some on your ears just to make sure you get that desired shape, you know. You let me know if I achieve the heart shape. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little bit. I think so. Okay, so the rouge is in and that's how it looks like. Now for the eyes, now is the time when they refine their makeup. It's not the 1920 craze anymore with having dark colors and stuff like that. It's going into the neutrals, right? It's more like pink. It's a cream, uh, things like that. Or again, you can use your uh, eye color to do that, but usually that would be worn only at nighttime or you can only put a little bit of liner and call it a day. But I'm going to use something natural, but still with a little bit of color. So I'm going to go in this um, Makeup Revolution X Friends Monica. And I'm going to take this 
obsessive color right here which is like a pale orange pale shade so I'm gonna take that one and add that one on my eyelid because I think that one is gonna look more natural than actually going with a pink on my skin tone blue was also used very heavily like light blue was used very heavily but it was mostly used on people that had blue eyes and that were blonde blondes you know this is the time when the blondes were just so attractive um so we still have time to go until my skin tone and until my uh hair and my face is gonna be considered beautiful uh we have we have ways to go all right so this is what i'm adding i'm gonna add just a tiny bit on the bottom not much and then i'm gonna go in with a brown pencil this was the biggest thing at the time they would prefer brown not a black liner so i'm gonna go with brown liner from uh charlotte tilbury and it's called the classic eye powder pencil and classic brown and i'm gonna add that just a little bit on the top but mostly i'm gonna add it on the bottom all right, so here we go. And for mascara, they would love their lashes to be very curled. And they would have curlers too, eyelash curlers. So I'm going to use mine as well. I don't remember where I have this from. And this time, they do wear upper lashes and the bottom one as well. Last time when we looked at it, they were not wearing uh, mascara on the bottom lashes. But this time, no. They decided to use it on both lashes. The eyes are done. Now we have the lips. Because they changed the, 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 the face shape that was desired in that time. Uh, now they change the lips too. They change how they do their lips. Remember last time we did that exaggerated cubit bows? Well, we still have the cubit bow not as exaggerated, but now it's going to be more elongated. So we're going to go, let me see, I need a mirror. So we outline them outside the lips to just make them longer. And the favorite lip colors that were worn this time, it was red. And I'm going to go with this, uh, the lip liner that I used. It was from Huda Beauty and Icon. And for lipstick, I'm going to go with this one. Stay Satin Liquid Lip Color from Rimmel London. And this one is in Scrunchy. And here's the look, you guys. What do you think about 1930s makeup? I honestly enjoy it. I still, I'm still waiting for that time when I can use a liquid foundation. I don't like the powder thingies, but it's still looking really nice. I think this one is really beautiful and I don't feel so weird out when I'm wearing this makeup on my face it doesn't look too bad the brows i would say is the most trickiest part of this era 
But other than that, I really love the fact that they're trying to contour the face and play with the colors in such way to con give it a different dimension to the face. I'm not necessarily thrilled about having that um, heart-shaped face. I'm, I'm okay with how my face looks like, but the lips are also a little bit too much for me, but not that much that makes me feel weird out by my look. <laughs> but this is how 1930s looks it looks like. Let me know down below if you like it. Let me know down below which era you like the most. The 1910s, the 1920s, or the 1930s. I am looking, I'm feeling excited for 1940s. I know there's going to be a lot of changes in 1940s in terms of makeup. So I'm looking forward to it and see how they were uh, applying this makeup and trying to beautify themselves. But this is what I have for you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.